Can you all first start with introducing yourself, please? Yes, Lindsay Bennett, Desert Flippers, HGTV. Clint Harp, Carpenter from HGTV's Fixer Upper. Mark Fong, uh, President of, of Mark Ward International. Now, Eamon, what is the significance of your location? The significance of where we are right now is that we're at the center of, of a High Point Market Center. It's opening day. We're sitting in a glass house where they're um, showcasing a number of events for, for High Point, but it's actually pouring rain, so I don't know if you can hear that and see it, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> and we're right next to Markor Art Center. The grand opening was last night. Um, we had the privilege of touring it for the first time yesterday. And um, Caracol Home, as well as ART Furnishings, are um, deb their debut um, is in this building, and we were able to tour some of the fantastic furniture designs that um, they've been you know, holding for this spring High Point market. That's great. I'm going to start by asking you guys a little bit of background information about yourself. Okay. Uh, Lindsay, uh, where are you originally from? So I'm originally from Madison, Wisconsin, actually Lodi, Wisconsin, like town of Susie the Duck, <laughs> 2,000 people. And, um, and then 12 years ago, my husband and I moved out to Palm Springs, California to start a family and, um, and start flipping houses in, in a really hot market. A really hot, like literally hot, as well as um, a very hot market with a lot of ups and downs. A beautiful resort community, 360 days of sunshine, and golf and swimming pools and mountains. It's a beautiful place to live and flip homes. It sounds like it. Now, what got you into design? <clears throat> So I've been into design just starting in, in cosmetics. Um, I actually um, was, was a makeup artist to begin. And, um, and then moving out and getting into the real estate industry, I started in luxury market. And then after the, the crash of real estate, I actually worked a lot in, um, the, in the foreclosure market and really learned all, all ends of it. Um, it was just, um, I, you know, I'm self-taught. So it was just, it's been an experience of trial and error and um, learning as I go and creating things along the way. I think that having not, um, a, a base, a lot of base knowledge and school teaching about it has really allowed me to be outside of the box in my thinking. I'm all about solving problems and thinking of creative solutions that are a little different than, than what the norm might be. But in that, I find resourceful ways to get the job done and really get a lot of bang for the buck in the homes that we do. Now, what do you like best about Desert Flipper? So Desert Flippers is a fun show. My husband is funny and, um, you know, he's a hoot. I've got three little boys. They, they show up from time to time on the show. And, um, you know, we, it's just really about our love, our story, the journey of, and the trials and errors of, um, you know, going through these, um, every home kind of has a story and an adventure along the way. And so we really just kind of enjoy that process. We try to share that with people and um, there's a lot of fun. It's, it's, you know, it's a busy world. It's a busy life that we're in. And then at the end, it's, it's this beautiful transformation of a home that has been abandoned for years into a beautiful home that we can pass on to someone else and they can enjoy. Now, how do you like your fans to connect with you? Um, we love to, for them to connect with us just on social. So um, we do have a website, DesertFlippers.com, um, as well as just Desert Flippers on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. So we love to reach out. People are doing renovations and have questions. You want to have a BFF to kind of throw, throw ideas off of and ask questions. Do it on social or instant messaging. Now, Flint, where are you from? Well, I'm actually originally from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Um, and uh, now I live, yeah, yeah. Now I live in Waco, Texas, with my wife and uh, and three kids, where we're building a life and uh, also building a business. Harp Design Co., our little our company that we started uh, about eight or nine years ago, and uh, and focusing on building quality furniture. Now, how did you get interested in woodwork? You know, I didn't like my day job, Michelle, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And I had a uh, deep desire inside to do something with my hands. Uh, my grandfather was a home builder. He was a craftsman and uh, a master craftsman at that. And uh, I inherited his genes to figure things out and work with my hands. And uh, after doing enough uh, desk work, uh, I, I was finally ready to take a leap and go for a dream. And, and, uh, and I jumped into my garage and I just started building furniture with no idea where it was going to take me. Uh, but it has uh, ended up taking me uh, many amazing places. Now, what are you working on now? Well, uh, right now I'm working on uh, quite a lot of furniture back in Waco. Uh, we've actually expanded our shop, and uh, that's been a fun thing. Uh, you know, when you see a small business that started out of a little tiny garage, um, you know, and, and is now in an 8,000 square foot warehouse, 
uh, you know, that's, that's a pretty fun thing to see because you're watching a baby grow, you know, and uh, it's, it's been a pretty fun deal. So we're expanding our business, expanding our line, our home goods, our furniture, and just trying to figure out how we can uh, continue to make the quality stuff that we like to crank out. Now, how do you like family to connect with you? Say that again? How do you like family to connect with you? Oh, how do I like family? Well, you know what? Uh, they can go online and find me at harpdesigncode.com. They can find us on Instagram uh, and Twitter. Uh, my wife, Kelly, is much better at connecting uh, with folks through social media than I am. And every once in a while, I get on there and try and figure out how to do it myself. I feel very behind the times. Uh, but the, the way that I really love to connect with fans is uh, in person. They come and visit us in Waco. They come to our shop. And, or I'm traveling around the country, and I'm speaking at home shows, and I get a chance to meet fans. Uh, of the show and and, uh, and and fans of what I what I do and that's an amazing thing because uh, you know um, what I'm doing is is not even just about furniture it's about following a dream and a desire and uh, that's a common story that a lot of us have and uh, and a lot of us want to figure out how to go for our dreams and so that's uh, been a great way for me to connect with people uh, all across the country. Lindsay, what are some of the newest design trends you did? <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? How about some of the design trends, I think? Oh, you want to talk about trends. So there's so much happening here. Um, a lot of what we're seeing is not so trendy as it is timeless, which is, um, which is very welcome. It's about taking something traditional and modernizing it slightly by bringing in maybe a gray color in the wood um, and really a lot of intricate detail. We've got like quilting and, and patterns. We've got textures. We've got leathers. Um, a lot of moss greens and beautiful serene blues, um, bringing in um, you know all of those tactile things. It's like an experience in this furniture, and furniture is like art. So you're seeing a lot of furniture pieces that look like a work of art, and bringing one or two of those into your home would really change um, the, the palette. So it's exciting to see. Now, what are some secrets you'd offer people for selecting the proper piece? <laughs> I will tell you my number one secret, and it's all about scale. So if you're about to design your home, stop, don't go shop, but instead measure your space, draw it out on a simple grid paper, and cut out little pieces of what a couch in a certain size would be in chairs, and work it around, because it's a lot easier to make those decisions planning ahead than um, bringing in a big couch after the fact. Very good tip, thank you. Now, Clint, where do you go for a Well, you know, uh, I'm sitting here in High Point, North Carolina. I'm actually sitting next to Mark Fong, president of Markor Industries, and. Uh, you know, you're talking about a global company that's in 60 countries across the globe uh, with hundreds of stores, and yet he and I can sit down and share stories together that were actually very similar, even though I just have a small shop in Waco, Texas, and they're all across the globe, uh, because I went for inspiration uh, just in my garage. I went for a dream, and that's what his father did 30 years ago, and uh, now we're both sitting here today, and it's a, it's a pretty cool experience. Uh, you know, that's a really good question because this, this is the whole premise, uh, you know, be, behind the construction of the Markware Art Center is that, uh, you know, we've, we've found that, uh, you know, the present day is, is really um, people have stopped buying products. People are, you know, all, all over the world, people are starting to buying experiences. And as we look to the future, we think that people will value the stories in products and the stories of brands more as they move from experience to story buying. And this is precisely the reason why you know, we've constructed the Markware Art Center for our brands, ART Home Furnishings, Caraco, uh, Jonathan Charles Furniture, and Row, Because we think that everybody needs to have a medium to tell their story. And their most important story is the story of their home. Now where can people go get more you can go to markorusa.com, and that's M-A-R-K-O-R-U-S-A.com. You can also go on to Instagram and find our brands, Caracol, C-A-R-A-C-O-L-E, A-R-T Home Furnishings, Jonathan and Charles, and Roe, R-O-W-E. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Hey, hey, thank you, you very much. Bye. Take care. Thanks.